Hey guys, welcome back. Today's video is all about what I learned in this webinar that I took, which was how to sell more books using Goodreads. I learned so much and though I'm not able to share every single thing that I learned, I do give you guys a lot of information as to how to use Goodreads, why you should use Goodreads, and the success that this person that was given the webinar had as a self-published author using Goodreads. I hope you guys enjoy the video. If you do, remember to give it a thumbs up, to share with all your writerly friends, and to subscribe before you leave. So enjoy the video. All right, you guys, I just finished that webinar and it was amazing. I learned so much from it. Um, I can't obviously, I can't give you everything I learned because it was an hour class, uh, but I do want to just give you a couple of the highlights of what I learned. It was such a good webinar that for the first time in my life, I bought what they were selling. You know, if you know anything about webinars, they're usually free and then at the end they try to sell you something. And for the first time, I actually did buy what they were selling. It's a class, 29 different classes for $195. It's called Inker's Con. And I will leave the link in the description box below if it's something that you guys want to check out. I think it was definitely worth it. I got it for $195 because I, I did the webinar, so they gave me $50 off. Normally it's $245, but they do have a um, payment plan available. So this is basically the takeaway from this Goodreads class. Basically, you have to treat Goodreads just like you would any other platform. She doesn't suggest, um, or she didn't say whether you should or shouldn't, um, go on it and on a daily basis, but I feel it should be treated just like Instagram or Facebook or Twitter or whatever other platform you are on. I intend on going on there daily and doing different things on there to just connect with other readers, to promote my book, to just let everyone know what I'm doing. So a couple of the ways that you can do that, so that's number one, is treat Goodreads as another um, social site. So it's very important that you, as a, as a writer and as an author, you're active on that website. Goodreads used to do giveaways that were free, but then they changed it and now they charge. There are two different Goodreads ads. One is $119 and another one is $599. She doesn't recommend the $599. She said, don't waste your money. It's not worth it. She didn't really say why. That's all she said. But she said the $119 one is actually really good. She recommends that you give away three books and that they are autographed books. This, uh, if you've ever done a giveaway on Goodreads, I've done it and I've actually benefited from it a lot way back when it was free and all I had to pay for was the book giveaway, the actual books that I purchased to give away. So that's one thing. So I do intend on doing that again, a giveaway when I publish my next nonfiction. And I probably do it again with Between Us, but for now I'm going to look forward to my next releases and then I am going to work on my backlist to just get it going. I mean, I just released a book in March, so I definitely have to, you know, promote that book a little more. Let's see. The next thing that I took away from that is that you should definitely use Goodreads events. 
whenever there's something going on with your book, if you're having a sale, if you're, um, if you're doing a cover reveal, if you're doing a release party, use the events part of Goodreads because it will alert all your followers and friends that something is happening on your site and they, if they're interested, they will show up and support you in whatever way they can. The next thing I took away from that is to use the news feed uh, updates. Goodreads has a place on there that you can do updates and basically that's kind of like how you do your regular update on Instagram or Facebook to use that to let everybody know, hey you guys, I'm working on, for example, let me backtrack a minute. Right now I'm working on my nonfiction. I could actually upload the cover to that nonfiction or a fake cover for now and give a, just as you would update when you're reading a book, I'm 20% done, I'm 30% done. You could do the same thing with a book that you're writing and you give it an update and you can be like, hey, I'm, I'm almost done with this book, I'm 50% done, here's what's coming, or you can add excerpts on there. You can just add a ton of things on the update page. The next thing I took away from the webinar is how to do a book release plan. She actually provided a free downloadable which I, with um, checklist and I just think this is going to help me so much from, this goes back into the thing I was just saying from the idea. Right now I, when you have an idea for a book, you can just upload it to Goodreads and you can start generating traction for that book right away. You can say you don't even have to have a title, you don't have to have the book cover, you don't have to have anything. You just can just, it's almost like a placement. You're just having a book that you can start telling people about and say add to your reading list. So I think that's the main thing that you want with Goodreads is you want to get as many people to say um, add to your reading list. Uh, let me see something else that I learned. I, I learned so much, you guys. I am really like, I don't know. I am so, this this person, she's a hybrid um, uh, author, which means she's self-published and she's traditionally published. She has hit the uh, New York Times bestsellers list seven times, all with her self-published books. She said that she has been had more success with self-publishing than she has with traditional publishing. So I thought that was pretty interesting, especially since I'm a self-published author and um, I do enjoy it very much. There was something else I wanted to mention really quick. So she was talking about how Goodreads is not just for readers and how movie producers and executives and publishers are all always on Goodreads and how she has gotten some of her best deals through Goodreads because of all the reviews that she has gotten and all the buzz that she gets from Goodreads. Anyway, that said, I am going to end it right here. Um, I might do a blog post summarizing some of this stuff that I learned. If I can't, obviously I'm not gonna copy it because it's her, her work, but I just wanna simplify things for you guys, some of the highlights for it. So if I do do that, I will leave it in the description box below for you guys to check it out if you want to buy the conference. I will also leave it in the description box below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up, share it with all your writerly friends, and I will see you guys again in a brand new video in a few days. Until next time, stay safe.